Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and I'm today's tutorial learn about dictionaries in Julia. So what is a dictionary? A dictionary is an associative collection of key value pairs, right? So to create a dictionary in Julia, just go with the keyword dict. So this dict function is going to create, is used to create a dictionary in Julia. Now let's see an example. So I'm going to create a simple dictionary. I'm going to call it D for dictionary. Then I'm going to use a key, the keyword dict, then and I'll place in my value. So it goes with the key and then we, we are pairing it to a body, right? So that is how to create a dictionary. So let me fill it with more examples. Okay, so this is going to be a simple dictionary. So this is a dictionary of strengths, and then uh, these are the keys, and then these are the values. Perfect. So in case I want to get all the keys inside, I just go with keys, the keys function, then dict. It's going to list all the keys for me as these values, right? In case I want the values to, and also do the dict, and then it's going to list values and then by D then go to list all the values in our dictionary for us. Okay. So what if I want to access a particular value inside? How do I do it? So the first method is just to go with the D for the dictionary. Then you're going to use the key that I have. So this is the key that I have, right? So I have the key there. So the key is going to be A. Then it's going to list the particular value which is one. I can, I know I can also do it for another one like this. I want the key of C. I was going to give me the value of six, right? So that is one of the methods of working with. Another method you can also use is you can also use the get index. So the get index, then with the get index, I'm going to supply the particular dictionary, which is D, and then from this dictionary, I'm going to give it supply the key that I want. So I want the particular key. The key I want is A, then going to get the value from me. So that is how to work with it. So either this method or this method. Okay, nice. So there's one nice thing about dictionaries in Julia that can also be, if I have this value like A and I want to change it to 100, I can also do that to change it because the dictionaries here are mutable, right? So these dictionaries are mutable. They are not like two pros, they are mutable. That is one interesting thing. So if I go back to my D, it's now going to bring the first value as A, it's now going to be as 100. So dictionaries here are mutable. We can actually change them. Nice. Now let's see some other stuff you can also do about how to create a dictionary. So we can create a dictionary in a different format using a totally different method. So from here, let's see that example. But we are going to create a dictionary from a tuple, right? So this is going to be from a tuple. We're to go with and then going to go with dict. Then inside this dict, I'm going to supply it as these two values. So this is going to be my A. So we have this A and then one so I can also create a dictionary from this particular format. So this is going to be the key, this is going to be the value. I'll also do the same thing for several of them. Okay, so let's call it as D2 for a dictionary, and then I can also create a dictionary from it. Okay, so we have been able to create a dictionary from using a tuple, right? This is a tuple. So it's going to map them automatically, which is also another way of creating a dictionary in Julia. Okay, so now this is some other interesting stuff you can also do. This is going to check whether a particular value is present or not present you can also use the word in right so if I want, in case I want to check whether a verb something is a, a, is in a place so if I want to check if B right is found in a particular place so I want to check if B is found in 2 right if B is actually the same as 2 I also do it like this then I'm going to supply where I want to look inside, so I'm looking inside D. Then if I check it, it's going to list it perfectly for me. I see that true or false, right? So that is it. So that means that two is not found in D, right? That is not the right marker. Perfect. So that is one of the things you can also do. You can also do something like that. You can also check if it is having a particular key or not. So you can also use the has key, has key, then I'm going to supply, let's say, I'm going to see whether D has this particular key, let's say E, right? Does it have E here? Based on our example that we have, does it have E? There's no E. So if I check it, it's going to return as false or true, right? False, because it is, it's not having it. Okay, so that is one of the ways of working with it. Okay. So we can also merge dictionaries together. So we have two dictionaries. We have dictionary A and dictionary 2, right? You can merge them with this format to merge. And then with this merge, I'm going to go with D for the first dictionary and then D2 for a second dictionary. It's going to merge them in a very nice format for us, which is quite interesting. 
Okay, so you can also do something apart from the merge, you can also do something with this. You can also get use the get function, right? So the get can also be used just like you are using the get index, but this is not this is using the index, but this is just going straight away. So the get, then you supply your you supply the particular dictionary, so D, right? And then it goes with the stuff I want. So let's say I want A, right? Then by default, I'm just going to supply a default value. It's very important you supply a default value. So zero is a default, and you're going to select and give me 100. Just like this one give us 100 here, or this one give us 100, right? This one give us 100 because we, because we have modified it. Again, I can also change, get it to B, and then it's also going to list a particular value, which is 3, which is actually 3. Okay. That's one of the ways of getting something from the dictionary. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, can just put that in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. And then check the link below for more statements.